let's say you're looking at this balance here and you may have this particular process over here, this task, uh, which is a little lot long in terms of the, uh, the height. Um, so what we might want to do is maybe discuss with the operator and say, well, what can we do in inset LEDs? And he might say, well, how short does it have to be? How quick do I have to be able to do it? So what you can do is you can click on it here. If you do a shift click, sh clicking on it will highlight it. Shift click brings up a line. You see the line that runs across here and you can actually drag it down. So might, maybe you drag this down here on the left. You can see it coming down here as I do that. Right? And then I'm going to drop it where I think it might have to be down here. And it gives you a new value here, 18.77. And that's the new value of the chip over here. Right. So you can actually use this to estimate and to move the size of chips. And sometimes you want to do this, uh, maybe you just get an idea of how much you can uh, you need to save or how much you can how much extra time you can give the guy. Let's say the cleanup here, maybe it's going the other way. You maybe want to uh, say, well, he could have a little more time here. How much time could you give him? Maybe keep it in line with the uh, the replenishment here. So you can do a shift click on this and you drag it up the way this time. Right, and line it up with the uh, with the replenishment about there, let's say, and drop it. It tells you the new value is 17.66, and you can also see that if you hover over this, 17.66. This allows you to change the height of any activity chip, and of course, changing the height of any chip is effectively changing the time on a particular chip, either up or down by using the slider.